Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Thanks Awakening. Let's head on into the Catfish's Maw. Let's see if I can get sufficiently far behind that guy, I can hit them from the side without hitting their mask. Now we've got Sword Beams back. Hooray! Sometimes I feel like I can hit that guy from the side more easily with Sword Beams than my actual sword. But, uh, okay, so, over here, trying to stay out of the way of these guys. Yeah, there you go. That's how it's done. And we get a compass. That's how that's done. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I'd even get the sword beam going in time. There you go. And then, let's see, over here. Yeah, they are, they're all connected one to the other. I don't know if I need the last one, but... I'll just do what I can. Yeah, we don't even need the last one. There you go. Very nice. Yeah, one nice thing about the Stalfos around here is that the sword beams are so fast that they don't have enough time to react and jump out of the way like with a melee sword strike or something. I want to destroy all of these... I don't know what they are, like sword ice crystals or something? I don't know. And then, let's make the room symmetrical to satisfy my OCD. And get a key! Hey, that rhymed. And in this room... Oh. But there's nothing here. Wow, that's a dead end. But yeah, let's uh, get Bonbo's Bonbo going. Because when you play in a dungeon, you can go right back to the start without having to do the old save and quit and all that. And, well, yeah, there's nothing we can do more on that path for quite some time. Whoa! Yeah, I, I didn't want to take a chance. Okay, never mind. I'll either not kill you. Okay, you get to live then. I'd rather let that guy live than accidentally pick up a guardian acorn. Gotta have priorities. There you go! Finally! <laughs> Okay, so up here, what do we got? Yeah, block the bones. And get a piece of power. Very nice. Yeah, there is a bit of a cooldown on the sword beams, though. So, yeah, you can't just spam them over and over again, like a soul blazer or illusion of Gaia or anything like that. Let's see, let's take the left path first. Whoa. Yeah, watch out for the traps. Just fake them out a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, I'm too far up against them. Okay, there we go. Got one. Not that the piece of power is really doing a whole lot here. Yeah, I don't know if piece of power stacks with the red mail. But I do know that with the colon sword... Yeah, we can just destroy these pots with our sword. Instead of having to lift them out of the way all the time. Let's see, how are we doing on bombs? Yeah, I could use some more. And then... Okay, we can get the bombs later. But we get another treasure. Awesome. Get out of the way. And what do we get for this one? Stone Beak. Now, let's see. We could go up from here. But there's not a whole lot we can do over there right now. So, we need another item to progress through there. So, let's continue through here first. Okay, what do we got? Yeah, be ready for them to counter. Whoa. Ha-ha! Get all these out of the way. Alright, now I got a little more room to work with. And, uh, whew, that could have been bad. Well, so what do you got? I wonder if these statues are, like, Mr. Owl directly talking to us, like, telepathy or something. Like Zelda or Sahasrala in the previous game. Or if it's just, you know, an automated message machine or something. Well, in any case, I want to have bombs, like the statue was suggesting, for mini-boss time. Against Master Stalthos. Now, you want to be careful with this guy. Wait for him to wind up for an attack. Drop a bomb. Boom. Then wait for him to wind up. 
drop another bomb. I could use bomb arrows if I want, but I'd have to back up sufficiently out of the way in order to not get hit by the my own bomb. So, yeah, I don't want to do that. Out of here! But, yeah, we can't uh, finish off the guy for now. So what do we got? Oh, okay. That would seem like a strange place to put a key item or something. But, yeah, let's go get a, a few more bombs. What do we got around here? Now, yeah, these guys can jump out of the water, just like the Mario games. And they can do that while fishing, too. I don't need to kill them, but... Okay, well, let's get out of here and see what else we can do. Haha! -ha. Gotcha. I think I took a hit there, though. Get it back. Let's see, around here, let's get some powder. Wow, I'm actually getting really low on powder. I'm kind of surprised, actually. But in any case, what do we got over here? Oh, okay. Well, remember that for later, viewers. Let's see. I don't think there's much we can do to the right. Whoa. There's some steps there. Let's see. Yeah, there they are. But, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go back the way I came. I mostly just wanted to go down this path so you can get the little hint as to how to progress eventually. But, yeah, that other path will actually take us quite a ways back from where we were. So it's just faster to go this way. And then we'll just go up. Not too many options really going through this dungeon. It looks open-ended with all these four-way or three-way intersections, but it's not. You really don't have many places where you really can go. So I'm going to go left and back. Whoa. Okay, we're good. We're good. And then go up and back. Open up the door. And then, yeah, get out of the way of all these guys. Bring our bombs back for more mini-boss time. Ha ha. Evidently. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite used to that by now. Okay. Okay, we can do it that way. I must have, uh, he must have already started his swing before. But yeah, unfortunately, I don't think you can really, like, spam the guy with the coalent sword like you could in the DX version. Or, well, either Game Boy version. But yeah. So yeah, just wait for him to wind up, hit him, and beat him. And I think he says the same thing each time. Sorry, I just kind of went through that pretty quickly before. So yeah, we could go down the left path, but there's not much of a point to that. We can't really do much over there, so we'll just go this way for now. There we are. Just wait for these guys to get in range. And try not to get their attention. Not to mention avoid picking up guardian acorns. Whoa! Ha ha! See, I'm just going to pick this one up so I don't have to worry about potentially picking it up. Okay, so what do we got here? I love it when you can destroy pots with sword or like uh, cutting down bushes with a boomerang or something. You need to do that more in Zelda games. But uh, yeah, we got to destroy all of the enemies in this room there. There you are. And then, even more mini-boss time. I don't think he ever changes from one version to the next. It's pretty much the same deal. Let's go. Hit him. Blow up. I can't hit him through his shield, though. So they made it a little trickier. Don't worry about, you know, stepping on the guy when he's falling to pieces. You won't take contact damage or anything. But he will. Hey, hey all right. And let's see. Well, last room that I want to go through at the moment. Hey, hey, two for one deal. I approve. And we get 
Oh, a map. Well, I was expecting to get the key item of the dungeon. What's going on here? Well, let's get Mambo's Mambo going again. And head back to the entrance. Yeah, every time you defeat Stalfels, he'll just go around to whatever the next room is in sequence there. I'm surprised that actually worked. I thought I would have hit the guy's mask, but uh, whoop, ow, darn keys, ha ha. Well, I guess I don't need to kill these guys now. I'm just gonna go over here anyway. And we can get a piece of power. That might actually be detrimental here because it'll affect my jumps a little bit. But we'll see. Well, yeah, I'm jumping a little bit too far ahead here. Maybe back up a little bit. Okay, there we go. And we enter the bone zone once again. Yeah, I suppose I don't need to kill that guy anymore. Whoa. Would be nice to keep my sword beams, though. Okay, there we go. Now it's time for a final showdown with Master Stalfos. Whoa, he didn't do that before. There we go. Okay, maybe he does change up a little bit. Stay right in front of the guy. And then, yeah, just keep on winding up like that. Man, how many bombs do I need to kill this guy? That's one tough skeleton. Hey! Alright! And for defeating Master Stalfos, we get the Switch Hook! Or Hook Shot! No, that's another game, viewers. I really do like the Switch Hook, though. Probably my favorite variation of the standard Switch Hook. Well, I suppose I don't need to save and quit. Whatever we need to do. I need to get back to the entrance because now with the hook shot, we can access a lot of new areas. What can we find around here with it? Find out next time on Let's Play Link's Awakening. This is H.G. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.